what the crap did you guys get me to read? Hello friends, my name is Shayla. Well, I don't know why I'm doing my intro right now. Hi friends, Shayla here and it's time to do a little bit of an experiment. I'm sure you know what this is by reading the title of this video, but this is a new series I'm going to be doing where I read things that I've been hearing about for a long time that are pretty well liked in the community, specifically the romance community, and I give those things a try. So for this round, one of the things that took the romance book tubers by Storm last year, as I drop it on the ground, was the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. So this is the first book, Dark Lover. And I feel like you can't really judge a whole series by one book. So I went ahead and got book two as well. Because I feel like reading the first two books will give me a better feel for the whole series overall. Um, originally I thought about doing the first three, but I'm like, I could get a pretty good sense by two typically. Especially full length novels. So I'm going to read the first two books in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series for this video and I'm gonna tell you guys kind of how I feel as I'm going along. We're kind of in the tail end of February. These are gonna be the last books that I'm reading outside of the audiobook that I'm currently listening to. And you know, I might pick up a volume of manga here or there, but this is gonna be my focus for the next couple days. And we're gonna see how this goes. Um, I honestly don't know too much about these other than there's a vampire element to them. <laughs> I have not read a good vampire series in a long time, so I really wanted to give this one a try because it's so well loved. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive right in to Dark Lover, which is the first book. And once I get a little bit in, kind of get my feet wet, I'll tell you guys kind of my thoughts and feelings, and we'll just kind of periodically check in. And that's how this is gonna go. So you'll probably see me change outfits and hair looks, and you might see me with a face mask on on a check-in or something, I don't know. We're just gonna kinda see how this goes. And you guys might never even see this video. Like, I might totally trash it. But I hope it turns out well enough that I feel confident to upload it and tell you guys my thoughts on this very popular series. I read the first chapter of this and the opening chapter contains a sexual assault. So if you're sensitive to that, definitely beware of the first chapter of this. I'm sure it's going to play into more of the story in a bit. And I don't know how or why yet, but I do know that that's going to play into it. So we got an initial introduction to kind of the vampire side. Seems we have a dad who's looking for his half-breed daughter. And then we cut to this woman named Beth. I'm assuming she is going to be our half-breed who's going to become vampire. That's just kind of where I see this going from the first chapter and she is like sexually assaulted in an alley and she gets away. But I don't know if these are guys who were like specifically after her or guys who were just being dicks. But either way, like that was a little disheartening to read first thing. So this is gonna be a ride for sure. And let's just kind of keep going and see how this goes. Now somebody's been blown up in a car. What the crap did you guys get me to read? What is this? I don't even know what to think right now. Clearly this is bad, like not like bad literally, but like bad for the characters. But man, that is a really intense start to a series. So if it's gonna be this intense all the way through, I don't know how I'm gonna deal, but I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> I'm only two chapters in and I'm already like, what the crap did you guys get me to read? But anyway, let's keep going. All right, so I'm about 50 pages, a little over 50, I wanna say, something like that. No, I take that back, I'm about 40 pages in to Dark Lover. And there's a ton getting thrown at you. And it can be a little overwhelming um, you can tell it's been a minute since I've really done a vampire urban fantasy, but this has got a lot of politics and other stuff thrown in it. We've got a Mr. X that we're getting a perspective from, though I have a small inkling as to who Mr. X could be already, but 
I may be totally boo-boo the fool when it comes to who it actually is. I'll tell you a little bit later, obviously. But yeah, so far it's interesting and intriguing. I'm still motivated to keep going. So that's kind of just a quick jump in. Unless something drastic happens, I probably won't check in again for a while. All right, so I'm back. It's not been too terribly long, but it's been like another 30 pages. But we've had the first sex scene, and wow. I have a lot of feelings about this first sex scene, and not all of them good. <laughs> um, Like, I like the chemistry between the two main characters, but there were a lot of things about that sex scene that didn't really like add up and make sense to me I guess like all of it was so like rapid that I kind of had whiplash so yeah I'm gonna be really interested to see if that's just a common occurrence like that's just how they're gonna be written or if there's gonna be um anything more to it I mean if not that's fine and I can just expect that from here on out but you know, with people loving this so much, I kind of expected something a little different. But again, this is the first book in a very long series. And I know that most people don't have the first book as their favorite. So it might just be some something like that. So I'm interested to see how I feel as this goes on. All right, guys. So it's now Thursday. That's why hair and shirt are different. I've now read about 100 pages into this, and we're getting more into the plot, which is making a lot more sense, and we're dealing with, like, a serial killer for the sake of science kind of situation in the overall plot of this novel, but at its center, we have Wrath, who's the leader, I think, that yeah, leader of the Black Dagger Brotherhood, who has a what they call a shallan, which is basically like a mate, but they're not really mates. It's just kind of a mates of convenience kind of thing. And now his buddy Darius passed away, but Darius had a half-breed daughter. When Wrath meets the half-breed daughter, he actually feels something, and he hasn't felt in a long time. And Beth has never been aroused by a man before, but Wrath obviously brings that out of her. And that's kind of the general premise at this point in the book. And their first sex scene had some problems, but the next time we get Beth's perspective, that all kind of, that next morning, a lot of the problems start to sink in. And the problems aren't fully resolved at this point. So it's one of those things where... It's being self-aware at this point, so I'm more okay than I was when I originally read the sex scene. But that's still a problem. Basically, it was an unprotected sex situation with a complete stranger. And, I mean, obviously for plot's sake, that's going to play a part later, I think. But, I don't know. I'm just... There's still a piece of information that Beth needs that she doesn't have. And we're 100 pages in. I just thought that would have happened a little earlier. So it'll be interesting to see how all of that goes down. Um, as I do this vlog, I'm going to try to remain as spoiler-free as possible. But, you know, it's it's an urban fantasy romance. So we know they're going to end up together in the end. Like, But some of the more nuanced parts of the plot, I'm not going to spoil for you guys. But... Um, I will come back to you. Ooh, I'm so sorry. When I have more thoughts. So I'm about 25% of the way in because this is a 400 page book and I'm 100 pages in. So I am now a little bit further into a dark lover. Um, another 40 pages. But the bomb of your daddy was a vampire has just been dropped. And I have to say, I think her reaction was really well done. You know, the panic, the freaking out, the no, stop lying, your teeth are fake. Like, I think it was just well written. It was really well done. I felt very in the moment. And I thought 
that it was just top notch and she tried to run away. And obviously she gets to a point where she realizes this is either a dream and I'm going to wake up or if this is my reality, I need information from this person. So she basically just kind of surrenders to her fate. And again, I think the whole thing played out really, really, really well. And I'm really interested to see how the next part of this is going to go. There was some other stuff in the middle there that has me questioning a lot of things that I was initially like speculating about. And I think I'm going to be boo boo the fool, but that's okay. And it's just going to be interesting to see how the rest of this plays out. So when I have more thoughts, we'll chat soon. We reached a moment in the novel where the poor woman who's sandwiched in the middle realizes that she's sandwiched in the middle. And it's one of those things where it has this element of feeling like cheating, but at the same time it doesn't because he's never felt that way about her. I don't know the whole situation. I'm sure we'll get a book where she gets her person. Like I'm not ever going to doubt that. She, he had offered to like release her from their bond for a very long time. And she kept saying, no, 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 it's fine. And she kept doing all these things to try to win him over and it was just never going to be. So I feel really bad for her, but at the same time, like he told you a long time ago exactly where he stood. They've never been sexual. They've strictly just been drinking from the other. Like it's never been a sexual thing. And so it's really like I... Ah, ah, I, I have mixed feelings about it. Like, that's just kind of like the story with me with this first book is I have a lot of mixed feelings. There are things that I really like about the storytelling, but things about choices for the story that I don't necessarily love. So I'm going to keep figuring this out. So it's been a bit and I am now, I've read 270 pages of this 400 page book. So I'm almost to the final quarter. And the way the last 100 pages have gone has been really good for me. I've really enjoyed the developments in characters and the developments in plot and story. Like it's all been working really well for me. I'm definitely Boo Boo the Fool. The person I thought was Mr. X is definitely not now. We have that all confirmed now. I'm not going to tell you who it was because it's embarrassing at this point. <laughs> And I'm very invested in a lot of the characters, not just um, Wrath and Beth, but a lot of the Brotherhood I'm really interested in. There's only one that I'm like, eh, I'd like to see you gentled, but I'm not sure I'm super invested to do that at this point. But that might change over the next couple of books. I mean, we're still going to read Love or Eternal in this vlog. A lot of my confusion has been kind of settled now and things are doing better. Hello friends, my name is Shayla. Well, I don't know why I'm doing my intro right now. So let's talk about Dark Lover. I have now finished this. And as the last hundred pages took place, I understand much better why this is such a loved series. I really love the lore, the vampire lore and the world that they've created here. Like, I get it. <laughs> the beginning of the book was very jarring for me. So this one is just a four star read for me because I felt very much whiplash in the first 100 pages for a couple of different reasons. And then as the book continued, it started to make more sense. And by the end, I got it. And so four stars for this one. I, at the end of this one, I was definitely keen to continue. Where did I put the other one? Here we go. So now the next two days, I'm gonna be focusing on Lover Eternal. I might finish this today, who knows? It just depends on how long it takes me to edit the video that I have this set up for right now. So um, this is going to be the focus because um, we're just right at the tail end of February. So I would love to get this finished in February so it can just be part of my wrap up and all those kinds of things. So anyways, that's just kind of my quick thoughts. I've been giving you my thoughts kind of throughout on Dark Lover. I'm going to do the same for Lover Eternal. And in this one, we follow Rage. Um, and his story. So um, I know there's a curse on Rage and I'm interested to learn more about that. So I'm excited that he's the focus of this one. But I have to tell you right now, even if I don't want to continue with the whole series, I will be reading the fourth book 
because the couple for the fourth book is teased in the first book. And I'm like, okay, yes, I really like this. How are they gonna do this? So that's a little tidbit of information for you. All right, friends. So I'm now about 50 pages into Lover Eternal. And I have to say, I'm really liking it. I'm really interested in Rage's story. And I really like Mary as a character so far. She's got the tender kind of strength that someone like Rage is going to need in his situation. That's kind of spoilery, so I'm trying to like not say what his situation is. But yeah, I'm really invested in Rage and Mary's story. They're about to meet for the first time, so I'm really excited. Um, but I really like them as individuals. The couple that's hinted at in book four has kind of been shut down momentarily for this, but I'm really excited to see where that's going to go in book four because I'm definitely reading book four even if I don't read the rest of them. Book four has to be read just because I'm invested in them at this point. But we also met a new vampire character that's kind of on the outskirts that I'm pretty sure will be involved somehow in a future book. I'm not sure which one or how, but the way they're taking time to develop their story, it's definitely going to play a part later. So I like the overarching connections. I really like that in a series like this. So right now it's looking like I'll probably continue the rest of the series, but I'm still like figuring that out obviously. So anyhow, <laughs> but yes, so far so good. I really like Rage. I really like Mary and that's that. Okay friends, quick check-in. I am now actually about halfway through Lover Eternal and I am really liking the direction of this. This one feels much more, s I hate to word it this way, but it feels much more slow burn than Wrath and Beth's story and I'm liking the slow burn of it, especially considering Rage's character. I feel like that just resonates a lot better for this particular story. So I am really looking forward to how this is all going to go down at this point because, you know, Rage has actually been trying to like date um, Mary and it's been really good. And then there's other people being introduced into the story that obviously will play parts later. But, you know, I'm about 200 pages into a 450, well, 430-ish page book. So I've got about half of it left. I'm hoping to finish it today, but I am headed into work now because it's now Saturday. But yes, I am looking forward to how all of this is going to go down. And I think I can call it here and say that I'll be continuing with the series, especially after reading this book. Because a lot of the issues I had with the first book were just parts of the plot in that one, where... The plot's different in this one, and so a lot of those problems are, like, kind of put off to the side. Like, those aren't here. So I'm really interested to see how I feel by the end, but I really like the direction it's headed. Um, I'm not going to take the camera to work with me, so I don't know if I'll be finished by the time I check in with you. If I have a cancellation, I'll have tons of time. But anyways, yeah, I will be at work for the next... I've got a eight hour day roughly today. So, um, yeah, we'll see if I get anything read. <laughs> it's packed pretty tight through the afternoon, so I might not get anything read at all. So we will see, but I am genuinely excited to continue on. And this experiment's been good for me. We'll talk more about it in the next clip though. All right, friends, it is now 8 PM. I'm home from work and I just finished Lover Eternal. And I really adored how things went down in this one. The overarching story is doing really well. We met like a new Precious Bean favorite character and I'm really interested to see how their story plays out. So at this point, I am fully invested in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. I'm at least invested up through book eight. <laughs> After that, I'm not sure, but I know that there's a new Black Dagger Brotherhood book coming out this month, so I think this is just, like, an appropriate time for me to be like, um, so I tried it and I really like it. And, you know, even though the first book was written, like, 15 years ago, I feel like it still holds up. 
Um, like I said, there were some things within the first one that I didn't love as much, but all of those things like weren't present here. So it's not a common thing. It was just a particular choice for that particular plot. Starting the series off on that was a little disheartening for me, but all in all, Lover Eternal got me more invested in the series than Dark Lover did. All in all, these are fantastic urban fantasy books. The vampire lore is very interesting and there's a big overarching story with that. Um, and I don't feel like this is too similar to like the Dark Hunter series by Sherilyn Kenyon. If I had to compare it to another urban fantasy series, I'd probably say that it's closer to the Lords of the Underworld series in a way. But I think I might like this a little bit better than the Lords of the Underworld. And I love the Lords of the Underworld. So yes, I am very invested in this series. I will definitely be continuing. And thank you to BookTube for one, telling me about the series and two, convincing me to finally read it. So that is the end of this vlog. If you guys are interested in seeing more of this kind of content, let me know in the comments down below and maybe make a suggestion for the next long-ish series that I try a couple of books in. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one.